Want to know how to keep vegetable fresh for 15 days? Then this video is for you. Hi all, welcome back to Canada Tried and Tested. Those of you who have watched my $200 monthly grocery budget video would have known that I was buying grocery for only a week which meant that I was keeping very less inventory and uh, I was only buying what was needed. Now in the current circumstances where uh, the social distancing and you know stepping out for essentials restrictions have come, we have been buying our grocery once in 15 days which means that uh, the challenge is to keep the vegetable fresh for those 15 days. In today's video, I will be sharing with you tips and tricks which I have implemented on the ground to keep the vegetable fresh for longer time. And believe me, when I was doing this, certain things I was already aware and certain things because now I had to buy in bulk, I had to improve and uh, make it something which is sustainable, which is easy to practice and does not require much effort every time I bring in vegetable. So guys, keep watching this video till end as I will be sharing very, very important things. For those of you who are new to my channel, please go ahead and press the subscription button and bell notification so that you get all my future videos. I make videos on my experience here in Canada as a new immigrant and I also share value for money tips in my videos. Just like you all, we also keep our vegetable in the refrigerator. Now if you see the vegetable in the refrigerator, it starts getting moisture on its surface and that is bad. That's the enemy for the vegetable and that is when the vegetable starts to go bad. Sometimes it gets frostbite also. You would have seen that, right? So what we do is that to ensure that we don't open our refrigerator very often. We only open when it is required for very, very minimum duration. And second thing what uh, we do is we don't keep anything near this vent. The reason is that the air circulation has to be maintained within the refrigerator. Otherwise, this moisture content increases. Most of the green leafy vegetables like mint leaves, fenugreek, spinach, curry leaves, when they are on the retail counter, they are sprinkled with water. So when we get that to home, first thing is we just dry that and now I wrap it in this paper towel and just stuff it. And whenever this paper towel gets wet, I just replace it with another paper towel. That's it. It has kept the freshness of vegetable for more than 15 days. The hardy vegetable like beetroot, squash, carrot, cauliflower, cabbage, I don't do much changes. I just wrap it and keep it as it is. I just turn the cover. So from inside, once it gets moist, I just remove, turn it and keep it back. And that has worked for me. My vegetables have remained fresh. I'm yet to find a solution for brinjal. So if you have something which you know, please do comment so that I can try that here. Uh, I have not been successful with the uh, brinjal. It shrinks. It doesn't remain that fresh. Roots like ginger, garlic, potato, onion, they are kept in this cool dark area where it is less of moisture. And one tip which my mother gave me was not to keep onion and potato together. The reason being that uh, the gas and moisture produce spoils the food and keeping them apart has worked for me. And the shelf life is in fact more than a month for potato and onion as you can see. She also gave a tip about uh, tomato. Now what I do is when I buy tomatoes, I see half of it which is ripe and which is unripe. The one which is ripe directly goes into the refrigerator because it will be consumed at first and the unripe Type one, it is kept at a room temperature and kept in open without sunlight. Uh, that allows uh, the tomatoes to ripen evenly. And when it gets ripened, I just move it into the refrigerator. So that way, I'm able to manage the space in the refrigerator. I'm from South of India, where coconut is uh, a part of uh, almost every meal. Now, I would prefer to break open the coconut shell just before the food is getting prepared. But in past, whenever I bought coconut from retail store and uh, uh, I was using it after a few days, I would find that uh, it has gone bad. So not to have any surprise, what I do is I break open the coconut, keep it in this uh, uh, plastic box. Cheese and butter. Cheese, I buy it in small quantity. It's only me who eats cheese. So um, it's not a problem to keep it for 15 days uh, to uh, three weeks. What I do is I keep it in this uh, plastic box and make sure that uh, this box is away from me for the reason I told you before. Curd, pickle and bread are kept here in the refrigerator. The bread, nowadays we get two to three bread loaves uh, at once. What we do is that we keep one bread into this place and our Airbnb host, uh, she gave a tip that uh, we could keep the bread in refrigerator, the freezer section 
and uh, a day before we want to use it, uh, we just have to remove it and move it to this part of the refrigerator. And what it does is the bread comes to almost some state of normalcy and uh, I just have to pop those bread into the toaster and uh, use it. It remains fresh for a long, long time. We don't use uh, the canned food, but if you're using it, it can easily come for, you know, one to two years or best before what is printed on the uh, canned uh, container. So just look for that and go with that. It's not a big problem to store canned food. Egg, uh, I keep it in this refrigerator section. Um, the quality of egg declines as it is kept for longer duration. So I just buy for 15 days and nothing more. Every time I go and uh, get it. So, so far it is, uh, good. I'm the only uh, non-vegetarian at home. So what I do is uh, when I buy chicken in bulk, I bring it home and I make it into batches based on the consumption what uh, I will be doing. And then I put it in the freezer. Just before the usage, I take that out, keep it outside for about four to five hours uh, for it to come to the normal room temperature and then go ahead with the using. It has worked for me. Also, what it does is uh, keeping in batches. I don't have to thaw everything together. I just pick what is required. So this might something, you know, uh, be worth doing from your end. Now, citrus fruit like uh, orange is recommended to be kept in refrigerator, but we have limited storage. I kept it outside and I just made sure that uh, it remains in a uh, cool area, does not get the uh, heat and moisture. And this has remained fresh for 15 days without a problem. Not even one single fruit going bad. Apple again, uh, my preference would be to keep in the refrigerator and that is what is recommended also. But uh, we don't have space. So what I, I did was I kept it outside and just make sure that the skin looks fresh. Anything which is getting dull, I consume that first and uh, that has uh, helped me sustain for 15 days. Only one apple actually went bad uh, in this entire uh, uh, one month period. Pulses, rice, wheat, oil, these are no brainer. It can sustain for as long as possible. We just ensure that uh, we keep it uh, in a moist free area. And uh, I'm sure you also must not be having problem with these items. So things to note. Fruits and vegetables, they have to be kept separately as uh, fruit produces ethylene, which will spoil the vegetable. Also, potato and onion, they have to be kept separately as gases and moisture will cause uh, uh, that to go bad. The third thing is, in the refrigerator, make sure that air circulation happens and anything near this vent, the space is kept clear so that uh, the moisture content is to the minimum. You cannot avoid moisture, but at least reduce the moisture content. Not to keep any starchy item as it removes moisture, the starch starch turns into sugar and that you don't want to happen. And uh, even now I do a price match when I go to the retail store. In fact, uh, during my last visit, I saved $43, which uh, is a good number. So I hope when you're doing your grocery shopping, you're doing uh, the price match also. If you don't know how to do a price match, please watch my $200 uh, monthly grocery budget video. you get to know uh, how you can do and where you can do. Hope you found this uh, video informative. Please do try this at home and share the feedback. In case you have some tips and tricks which we all can implement, please do comment and also like and share with people so that they can also keep their vegetable and fruits fresh as long as possible. Thanks guys for watching Canada Trident Test.